and the third book of the best-selling series of all time, Hello Fellow Bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I got this great book, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And well, let's get right on to it. So, let's go with, up with the basic summary. Harry, Harry is in the terrible, terrible Dursley house, and it is summer vacation, and basically his uh, Aunt Marge, or to be exact, Dursley's Aunt Marge, she's coming over, and she's a bit of an infuriating, well, she's basically just a really annoying person, and she insults Harry and his mother and father, and because of this, Harry becomes very, very angry, and basically kind of does a levitation charm, or kind of like makes her really fat, and makes her float up into the sky. And then knowing that she had probably broken the law and therefore was going to be arrested, he decides to make a run for it. He grabs all his things, his owl, all his textbook, all his textbooks, and tries to make his way to Diagon Alley. And he takes the night bus, which is a magical bus that appears when you're in, you call for it, and then taking the bus, he goes to Diagon Alley. On the way, he meets Fudge, Cornelius Fudge. The Minister of Magic himself. In the magical world, he's basically, well, he's basically the president of the magical world, and he's a very, very powerful man. And he doesn't seem to have any interest in trying to, you know, trying to punish Harry. In fact, he seems to be genuinely worried, and is, seems to be very relieved when he finds Harry alive and unharmed. Is, it, is this something about the dangerous criminal that has escaped, apparently named Serious Black? We don't really know yet. Meanwhile, because of this hot and and then so Harry stays a little bit in Diagon Alley and manages to go into Hogwarts. Hogwarts is a bit different because it is currently getting guarded by these Azkaban guards, also known as Dementors. These goal-like creatures that can suck all the happiness out of you and basically just make you a husk of a being of what you once were. If it gives you the Dementor's kiss, then you probably become another Dementor, which is very, very interesting. And on the way on the train, Harry Potter sees the Dementor and faints. However, Lupin comes in, and he says, Siri, we don't have Sirius Black hiding under our coats. So leave, prison, leave, Azkaban God, Dementor, and he creates a Patronus that shades forward a white light, a blind white light, and it pushes this dangerous creature back. Now, these these creatures are made to guard Azkaban, and they're kind of, they're really, really dangerous, and yeah, like I've explained, they can suck the happiness out of people, and therefore, Azkaban is obviously worse than Alcatraz. And let's continue with Meanwhile, meanwhile, there's a lot of school stuff, like trying to win the Quidditch Cup, and Hagrid being a professor, and and him teaching about magical animals, and etc. However, one day, when Harry sneaks out, to, sneaks out to to the nearby nearby magical village, so he can buy a lot of good stuff, a lot of really cool stuff, he manages to overhear something that Hagrid. M and Mag McGonagall and Professor McGonagall is talking about. They are talking about Sirius Black and how he was the secret keeper of Lily and James's location and he had betrayed them to Voldemort and finally because of this Voldemort had found out where Lily and James were hiding and therefore Harry's mother was dead and that he was in the situation and Harry Potter was madder than mad. Then, then, our dear Sirius Black, he uh, makes several appearances in the castle. It seems that he knows a way in. And then finally, in the Shrieking Shack, which is a supposedly haunted house, they go inside, they go inside and they find Sirius Black. But, but when Harry tries to, you know, disarm and capture Sirius, Lupin comes in and disarms Harry Potter, and he says he tries to make Harry listen Sirius out. And we find out that he Sirius is not in fact a traitor. In fact, a, a kid, a, this danger, this man named Peter Pettigrew, 
was the actual traitor. They they were an anim, they were an animagus. They can change their shape into different animals, and because of this, Pettigrew was a rat, and basically Ron Weasley's rat. Scabbers, and he had been lying in disguise as Scabbers for the past couple of years. And when Sirius Black had come out, he had started to become paler and paler and sicker and sicker. And now we find out that Sirius Black is innocent and also Harry's godfather, which is another interesting fact. If this all clears up, Harry can go finally live with his godfather instead of these awful, awful, disgusting people. Which is, yeah, which is basically what's going on. And then... And then, yeah, and then, and then Snape comes in, she tries to dis disarm Lupin, and then Lupin loses control and becomes a werewolf, and I'm not going to tell you the rest, but basically, Dementors surround Harry, and he's about to die, and then a giant Patronus, a seemingly of a white stag, she lumbers in and wipes all the Dementors that are trying to kill Sirius, and Harry thinks he sees his father, but he's not too sure yet. Expecto Patronum! Yeah, you know, the coolest spell in Harry Potter, excuse me. But I won't spoil the ending, although I'm pretty sure most of you do know the ending. So, now now I talked about the plot. I want to talk about these Dementor guys. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure these are pretty much J.K. Rowling originals, so they aren't from like a myth or something. J.K. Rowling physically created these creatures. And I want to know, what are they? Like, were they exactly, were they humans once, and they just got, like, really depressed, killed themselves, and somehow became, like, a goal happiness sucker? What, like, what, what, hey, how? And, like, what are they, and how did they become Dementors? How did they repopulate? We know that these Dementors, if they do a Dementors kiss, they can make, they can make a human into a Dementor, and okay, so that's how they repopulate. But can you kill a Dementor, like, with some sort of spell, or... Um, how did these guys from origin? Was there like this one one ghost or something? One this human, really depressed human being that killed himself and became like some sort of goal, a new version of like a ghost or something, like like a new version called a Dementor, and then that Dementor went around killing people, making them into Dementors, like a zombie apocalypse or something. Like, I want to know what in the world a Dementors are, where they're from, and we know that we can use the Patronus charm against them. But we don't really know anything else. Can they suffer physical damage? Um, are they even physical? Can you touch them at all? I mean, I would like to know a lot of things. So anyway, that's a couple of questions that you guys can think about. And also, that's pretty much the end of the book review. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, great book, great creativity. I do want to, I still do want to know about those Dementors though. Thank you, thanks for watching, have a great day, bye!